We have more breaking news tonight as area health directors say the spread of COVID-19 here is out of control. Johnson County, Kansas commissioners are passing an emergency order limiting public gatherings to 50 people or 50% of a building's capacity, whichever is less. Bars and restaurants selling alcohol have to close at midnight. Retailers, churches, bars, restaurants, fitness centers, healthcare organizations, and funeral services are exempt from the capacity order. This is effective Monday and goes through January 31st. Tonight, Metro school districts consider remote learning for the rest of the semester. The latest is in the Blue Spring School District. Students in the 6th through 12th grades will go virtual the Monday after Thanksgiving break and end December 18th. Pre-K through 5th will remain in person. COVID hospitalizations across the nine county Kansas City area are now an average 156 a day, according to the Mid America Regional Council. Nurses from New Orleans are now in Kansas City to help health care professionals as COVID-19 cases surge. KNBC Nets Brian Johnson explains how a six person team with crucial frontline experience is arriving at just the right time. <laughs> Nurses from Tulane Medical Center arrive to applause at Research Medical Center in Kansas City. But we love that they're here and, and they are a wonderful morale boost for our nurses. It's just that extra support. Kansas City was so gracious to send us nurses when we needed help that it's only right that we pay back yes. the favor as well. Tulane received 200 nurses from our area at a time when its system was pushed to the limit. We've never ever seen our hospital just overwhelmed with so much sickness, mm -hmm. such sick people that couldn't take care of themselves. It's okay. knowing that every day you go in, every patient you take care of is going to have their life in the balance. Absolutely. And you have no idea when it's going to end. Six nurses pay it forward, bringing new energy. They'll fill some of the shifts of the hundreds of nurses that work at research. We all worry about what the capabilities are going to be with ICU beds. Hospitalizations are way up with COVID-19, car accidents and other emergencies. They're at two to three times the peak earlier in the pandemic. It's super nice to know that we have people in the community that will come help us during these extremely trying times. The chief medical officer says they're concerned about staffing. They'll run out of workers before the hospital runs out of beds. In Kansas City, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. The hospital anticipates having outside nurses help for at least the next month. Each week, new nurses will arrive to replace those returning home. Health directors from the Metro's biggest counties recommend some new restrictions. They include closing bars and restaurants at 10, a consistent mask mandate in the Metro, limits on social gatherings, restrictions on indoor and outdoor events, limits on crowds at youth sporting events, and more enforcement of the six foot social distance rule in public places. And, and what we're seeing now is what we have always been afraid of. And we're really afraid because we're stretching our beds. Here's what we're talking about. That little sliver of red in this pie chart is the number of hospital beds available now in the Metro. A new health order is now in effect in Douglas County, Kansas. All gatherings are now limited to 15 people. That's down from 45. Anyone older than five years old will still be required to wear masks in all indoor spaces. Health officials say the changes are needed because people are letting their guard down and coronavirus cases are spiking as a result. In Clinton, Missouri, the mayor has issued a civil emergency order after the city's positivity rate hit 29%. As part of the order, the mayor is encouraging everyone to wear a mask there in Clinton. Most of the city's facilities will be closed starting Monday. That will last until December the 1st. The Blue Valley School District is changing as COVID cases are up in Johnson County. Middle and high school students will switch to remote learning from November 30th to December 22nd. Elementary students and early childhood students will remain in person. Meadow Lane Elementary in Lee Summit will move to online learning starting on Monday. This because of an increase in cases there. Online learning will continue until November 30th. This could be extended if case numbers don't fall. The school will be deep clean during this closing. Clay County's Health Department says Missouri Governor Mike Parson's new COVID-19 guidance is under advisement. Governor Parson announced Thursday students or educators exposed to the virus don't need to quarantine if the person exposed and the infected person were wearing masks. Clay County also offered three new options to districts for winter sports. Districts should consider a spring season option. All student athletes learn remotely during the season or proceed with winter sports as scheduled with COVID-19 precautions in place. Students in the Independent School District are getting an extended Thanksgiving break. The superintendent 
says the district will not have school on the Monday or Tuesday before the holiday, November 23rd or 24th. School leaders already plan to be off the rest of the week. Early education, kids safari and all programming will be closed. School will start back up the following Monday, November 30th.